Okay, so trailer exterior. Um, it's a 2010 Viking Epic, I think 1096 or something like that. Uh, it's a pretty small trailer. They don't get much smaller. Like I think there are a couple trailers that are slightly smaller, but basically it's got a double bed and a twin, so not even any queen size beds. Um, 2010 has a built-in canopy, which is amazing. We always have out. Um, we put out our camping mat from Coleman, which is great, especially when you're staying at places that are like this, where it's gravel or uh, sand. Um, if when it's raining, it just keeps everything kind of dry. Uh, totally worth getting and, and putting out. Um, the bunk ends, you can see we have these like tarps over, and actually one side of the tarp is red, but the other side is reflective. Usually we have these so the reflective is pointing up when it's really sunny and hot. Um, but here it is sunny and warm, but at nighttime it's getting really cold. So we actually flip them the other way around to try to help keep heat in the bunk ends. We also have the reflective bubble wrap or bubble um, insulation in the window panels that are totally removable. So you just get in big rolls, measure out your windows, cut to fit really maybe it was eighty dollars to do all of them and makes a huge difference it's reflective on both sides so at nighttime it will help keep heat in and during the day it'll help keep the heat out these sides okay bud um off the road please so with these side ones we just unzip we just unzip the side here slide the panel out and we put it flat on the bed the end panels here, hi, hi Jackson, these big end panels, we just leave in because they actually just fold right down when we pack up the trailer so we don't have to take them out. So totally worth it. Um, by the way, these like reflective tarps we got from Mountain Equipment Co-op. I think some company sells them where they make them for 10 trailers and they call them like the gizmos or something like that. We just got them from Mountain Equipment Co-op. They're just like an emergency tarp blanket kind of thing and it works really good. Um, we also have a solar panel hooked up to our two deep cycle batteries that are in our front box here, which I'll show you. So I don't know if you can really see, but there's two big deep cycle batteries there with the solar panel plugged in, 20 pound propane tank hooked up and keep going along. Oh, another thing we did is we put new levels on and these are actually the curved levels makes it way easier for actual doing your adjustments and it doesn't have to do with the degrees but it actually represents inches of adjustment so this is for the front and back which is easy but side to side you can see we're pretty close to zero Hi. if this is over at two that means we would have to add two inches to one side to get it to get level Okay, so I think I've covered most things, but I thought I'd walk around the trailer and just go through stuff that maybe is just kind of random that I missed. So I've talked about like the collapsible buckets and wash basin, which are anything collapsible is great for a tent trailer. Um, spare wheel or tire. We actually did get a flat tire on the trailer this trip. Um, I had to stop at a tire shop and have them put a new tire on because it blew the sidewall out. One thing is, is with your trailer, make sure, for sure make sure, that the spare tire is at the right pressure. It's easy to forget to check the spare tire pressure. Um, so when you're doing your trailer tires, always check the spare because it would suck to go to put the spare on and it's flat. Um, so uh, another thing, I think I talked about this collapsible uh bathtub for the boys again anything collapsible save space in these trailers um, stabilizer jacks little platforms um, when the ground is soft like sand and stuff the little like the little foot for the stabilizer jack does not work really well it just sinks into the ground so I just use little pieces of plywood to really help spread the load and make it a lot more stable and soft ground so things like that easy to, to make and take with you so definitely a good idea you can buy plastic ones but plywood works great uh let's see what else is there um oh i don't know if i talked about these like collapsible storage containers um we just finished our lunch which was basically leftover dinner but basically these are just collapsible silicone um, containers that come with actual like little forks uh you can kind of see here 
sorry it's so messy but like i said we're just packing up finished eating and thought i'd finish this video um so things like this when we're not using them they collapse totally flat like so you can put the fork and knife in the top it has a little storage thing for like a sauce if you want but yeah things like this are great and i forget who makes these i think they're called stackables no flat stacks there we go really great we really we had three of these and used them all the time um collapsible water jug i think i talked about it this is what it looks like when it's inflated or basically when it's full of water and then when we're packing up we'll basically just push it down and fold it up so it takes up no space so again really good to have um i've talked about the cooler i've talked about the collapsible uh garbage can um oh another collapsible bin with just all of our shoes in it with kids like this monkey um lots of shoes he's got i think four pairs of shoes right water shoes those shoes hike you know like r little runners and gum boots so little shoes go missing all the time so we have this bin fill it with all our shoes and then we just throw it in the trailer when we're packing up um sport umbrella, some sort of sunshade for when you go to the beach is always key uh propane hi uh propane tank definitely make sure that when you uh if you're moving campsite to campsite we found it that it was really hit and miss finding places that would fill the propane tank we would drive through some areas and every gas station filled propane and then we would go to some towns and all six gas gas stations did not fill have propane refilling um some do the exchange systems but the problem with the exchange is that they actually cost a lot more it's kind of a money grab so find a station that will fill by weight and also some stations that will refill tanks they charge a flat rate to fill so you want to ask if they fill refill tanks by the weight um solar panel i think i've talked about uh floaties oh yeah so this floaty river run two was awesome my wife and i could sit in there baby rider could sit right in the center where i think a cooler supposed to go we would just fill that with some water plop him in the center and he it was like his own little bathtub he loved it and then jackson we would just have on one of our laps has the cooler in the back this thing is awesome for floating in a lake floating on a river that kind of thing um will deflate and works like a charm so having a floaty if you're going by water definitely great and this thing is awesome we have the original river run one so it's basically a single of these and we've had that for a long time and it's still working perfectly so definitely a good product um and tarps so i think i i don't know if i talked about the tarps yet so this is just a regular tarp got from like Walmart or something like that and for like 12 bucks on sale we got two of them for going over the bunk ends because our bunk ends leaked water all down the seams so I bought some seam sealer which I can show you over here I bought some seam sealer here to try to help with that but another thing is is that if it's pouring rain even if your if your trailer doesn't leak water when you go to pack up the bunk ends are soaking wet and you have to fold all the canvas in so then everything on the inside can get wet so what we would do is definitely use a tarp or um and these little gizmo things at the end they don't really keep everything dry they do help reflect heat and such but to really keep the rain off you want a nice big tarp Right now we have beautiful weather, so I set the tarp up just to make a bit more shaded area. But if it was raining, we'd actually have two of these set up over the bunk ends. And this way, also when you go to pack up, it's dry. And you can actually leave the tarps up while you pack it all up, fold it all up. And really the last thing you do is take the tarps down. So having a couple tarps, really essential. And I think the last thing would be with the tow vehicle, um, our trailer has brakes. So we have a trailer brake controller because might as well use it, especially if you're driving hilly areas. But the big thing is more storage. Having the rooftop box makes a huge, 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 huge difference. Um, we originally didn't have the rooftop box. We were kind of figuring out how to pack everything up. And then we thought we really need a bit more space. That one there, I, mean, I don't think they make it anymore, but you know, they're just standard. You can get the Thule ones. They're really expensive. You can get these cheap, cheaper ones. Either way, yes, they cause wind drag and everything, but 
they will really increase your storage area and then that way your vehicle isn't packed to the sea to the roof every time so on the top box we always put like things like the camping mat our camping chairs wash basins and tables and stuff like that so all the outside dirty things we put in there but i think that's pretty much it for like all the stuff that we have set up things that we found helped a lot um and lastly i would just say distract the kids so bring toys you know his little strider bike all the little beach toys shuffles um toys from home stuffies all of that anything you can do to keep these guys happy because if these guys are happy then that means you will most likely be happy oh this looks bad okay uh well hopefully these videos have helped and hopefully you have a good trip if you're doing something similar um and if you have any other ideas or tips or anything or tricks feel free to leave them in the comments thanks for everything